Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. Super jacked and stacked, delighted and excited to be here with you guys. And today we're going to do yet another Ask Me Anything live Q&A. This is live on Facebook, LinkedIn, all the different channels and platforms we have that are available to stream this to the world. And I'm here to answer your questions as it relates to the single biggest question you have uh, that is perhaps the thwarting point that's been holding you back from really creating a breakthrough in the face of the current market shift with hyper competition, margin compression, rising rates, and you know, in many places still relatively low inventory, you may be struggling to keep the pipeline going in the right direction. You may be working longer and harder for less. You may be uh, struggling to get top producing realtors or even any producing realtors to come on board as partners and send you their referrals. You may be finding it difficult to uh, make that overture because everyone and their dog is chasing after the same realtors and pounding down the same door. And you're just another replaceable com a cog on the wheel and uh, coming across as an annoying pest, yet another inbound call from a loan officer, you know, being a loan leech and a mortgage parasite versus the welcome guest that's like the breath of fresh air for them. How do you get past that high wall of resistance? How do you get past the cynicism, the resignation, and frankly, the apathy of these realtors? How do you start to thrive while everyone else is just struggling to survive in this tough marketplace, this crazy market that we find ourselves in right now? Well, those are the kind of questions that we're going to be answering today on today's podcast. So if you have a question and you're watching this live on Facebook, I'm taking live questions as well. I've already received some inbound uh, in the preamble promotion for this episode. So I'm going to be fielding those questions. But if you have live questions, feel free to pop them in the comment section underneath this streaming video. I'd be happy to answer those as well live. I'm not gonna necessarily answer the question by putting it your name on it. I keep it anonymous unless you prefer or you're okay with me posing it publicly and having your name attached to it, then by all means, you can just comment and say, I'm happy to have my name attached. Otherwise you can just put, uh, you know, don't put anything and I'll just assume and presume that you want it anonymous. All right. So feel free to comment with your questions. I'm happy to answer your questions as we do this live. All right. So the first question that we have here is this, where do I start with marketing? Now, this particular question came from a veteran, but I'm going to add in the newbie context as well, because I know we have a full swath of different types of loan officers from different backgrounds, different experience levels. So I want to hit on that question. Great question, by the way, from both angles, the veteran who's been in the game for a while, who's got chances are a database of prospects of clients and prospective partners, and they're just wanting to squeeze more juice from the fruit and really leverage their expertise and their know-how being in the game for quite some time. And then for the newbies, how do I get off to a fast and profitable start? And where do I start when it comes to you know, penetrating this purchase market and, uh, and growing my business? So really great question. Let's start off with the newbie. So if you're a newbie, you're brand spanking new and, uh, you know, you might be in a situation right now where you're like, oh, shit, you know, I started my business and this is not an easy context to start my business. You know, these realtors, they're getting pounded. Uh, I'm not getting the low hanging fruit that was once available a year or two ago in the mortgage gold rush with the refi boom. What do I do to get business? It's like pulling teeth. Where do I start? Well, the first thing you want to do is remind yourself that regardless of what's going on in the market, people are going to continue to get into the market, move up into the market, get married and get divorced and die. And all those require transactions. So there's always going to be transactions. The question is, how much of that piece of the pie are you going to capture? And the more you can stay connected to the fact that there's always going to be business flowing, it's just a matter of how much is going to flow to you, the more you can get and stay connected to the mindset of abundance, that there's always an ocean of abundance available. The question is, are you coming to that ocean of abundance with a little itty bitty thimble and capturing itty bitty little thimble full of that abundance? 
or you bring in a freaking dump truck and capturing as much as possible such that you're able to live that life of abundance as well. Not just see it from afar, but live it. Have it that have that be, you know, the fiber and fabric and rhythm of your life, living in that abundance of freedom, autonomy, independence, being able to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want. And to be able to live life you've always dreamed of, you know, making freedom money, liberate your spouse money, travel the world first class, five star money. All that is still available, even in the face of this crazy market. That's still available to you. And as long as you believe that to be true, you have the potential and the capacity and the power to capture it. But if you don't believe that to be true, if you feel like you're late to the party, if you feel like you missed your window of opportunity, if you feel like, you know, man, maybe I should just go back to the day job and wait until the market shifts, you're missing the point, friends, because it's not the market, it's your marketing. It's your ability to show up and be light, love, and leadership and shine your light and shine it bright. Because frankly, that's what this industry needs more than ever. And when the shit hits the proverbial fan, when everything is going crazy, when everyone's going crazy, that's when people who show up with a heart to serve, with light, love, leadership, caring, and compassion, and confidence, and a commitment to kick ass and to deliver excellence for excellence sake, that's when those people are needed more than ever. In dark times, that's when leaders of light are needed more than ever. So, you know, it's really about a matter of perspective. So keep that in mind. Now, with that as the preface, here's the first line of attack. There's really one and only one this path of cash. There's not two, there's not three, there's not five, there's not 12. There's one shortest path to the cash is and always will be. And that's attracting top producing realtors to make their exclusive without the hell of cold calling. There is no shorter path to the cash than that. The problem is that is not an easy code to crack, which is why we've been in business for 17 years. You know, you can't just Google search it. You can't just go and watch a free YouTube video, listen to a free podcast or read a free blog to figure that out, which is why we've been in business for 17 years, helping smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals crack that code because it's not an easy code to crack. You already know that to be true. Chances are that's one of the reasons why you're tuned into the station here on Planet Prosper at MortgageMarketingCoach.com because you're looking for answers and you know it's not an easy thing to co- crack the code on. And it's, for most people, the elusive butterfly. But just know that that is indeed the shortest path to the cash. The question is, how do we get these top producers? Because most people in this business, they think that going after the lower producers is the way to go because they think the top producers are prima donnas and perhaps some are. I'm not going to argue against that. Perhaps some are, but they basically have a broad stroke and they stroke the broad brush over pretty much all the top producers. And they have a global belief that these top producers, they're prima donnas, they're drama queens. You know, they think they're the best things in sliced bread. You know, they walk, their poop don't stink. They walk on water. And so there's kind of a preconditioned presupposition that a lot of loan officers, mortgage brokers have that it's not even worth going after because they're too much squeeze, not enough juice. And these realtors aren't going to give me the time of day anyway. They already have their lender. They've already got their marketing dialed in. They've already got their business dialed in. Why would they want to work with me? Well, as the leading great Henry Ford once said, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. So if you're not sold on you, why the frick would they be sold on you, right? If you're not sold on the unique value proposition you bring to the table, if you're not sold on why, you know, you're the no-brainer of the year for smart, ambitious, growth-minded realtors to work with and send you all their business, if you're not sold on that, why would they be sold on that? Obviously, the first and most important sale you can ever make is selling yourself on yourself, And that's another big piece of what we help our clients, our loan officers, our mortgage brokers crack the code on is cracking the code on being sold on you and having a kick-ass value proposition that makes you irreplaceable and indispensable. So you have the power to attract partners instead of chasing partners. So you have the power to flip the script. So the realtor needs you more than you need them. How cool would that be? So that you're in the driver's seat, you hold the cookie. How awesome would that be to be able to flip that script, to be able to own your power in that way? 
such that you're interviewing the realtor, not the other way around. So you're in the power position. The question is, how do you do that? Well, you do that by having a kick-ass value prop- proposition and owning it to your core, not just you know something in your head where it's kind of like, yeah, you know, I, I kind of sort of think maybe I have something of value. No, you feel it in your heart. It's oozing out of your freaking pores. You're owning it to your core. So you can roll your shoulders back, put your freaking cape on and own your champion self, your unstoppable self, your winner self. And when you're standing in that power, that identity, ain't nothing going to stop you. You become like a light on a porch on a dark summer's night. And those realtors start to flock to you. Not because uh, you got great rates and great service. Not because you got a million and one loan programs. Not because you've been in business for X number of years. But because you're owning your champion self in a way that shines your light and shines it bright. It's an energetic frequency. You're dialed into success FM, not oh shit FM, not I'm an imposter FM, not uh, I'm sort of wobbly in my knees and I need to figure out how I'm going to do this because I don't know enough FM. It's you owning your certainty, whether you like it or not, whether you know it or not, you're a merchant of certainty. And the more you can live in that vibration of certainty, the more you're going to attract the right partners and repel the wrong ones. So it's a frequency that we need to get you dialed into. And once you're dialed into that frequency, it's like a hot knife through freaking butter. It changes everything. So you need to be targeting the top producers. You need to believe that you're capable and worthy of a partnership, not just capable and worthy of a partnership with a top producer, but the fact that you know that you know that you know to your core that you will not settle for anything less, period, because eagles soar with eagles. Eagles do not scratch around in the chicken yard with the chickens. They soar with eagles. You need to see yourself as an eagle, not a chicken. As long as you see yourself as a chicken, you're going to scratch around in the chicken chickens, chicken yard with the chickens and be making chicken feed money instead of eagle money. So it's really important you own that eagle identity. And from that place, now we can start to roll out a strategy to attract other eagles, not to chase them, not to beg not to bribe, not to grovel, not to ask kiss, but to attract, to become the welcome guest versus the annoying pest. So there's a mindset to it. There's a frequency to it. There's an identity to it. And then there's a strategy to it. And the strategy starts with having a list of these top producers that are doing 20 plus transactions a year. Those are the top producers. And then we want to have the words that work. And this is another big reason why mortgage professionals hire us is to learn the secret sauce on the words that work that get these realtors hot for what you got. Pre-cooked, pre-tenderized, predisposed to say yes to a meeting before you even talk to them. And it's all about, as I like to always say, it's like if you want to catch a mouse, you want to give them all cheese, no whiskers, because they love cheese. They love themselves some cheese, but they don't like whiskers. They hate whiskers. Why is that? Because they know whiskers are attached to something that wants to eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's called a cat, right? So we got to give them all cheese, no whiskers. So you want to have the words that work that get some hot for what you got, and you want to keep it simple. We use the KISS method. Keep it simple, superstar, right? So you don't need to have it complicated. The more you tell, the less you sell and the more you repel. So you don't want to be just showing up, giving a data t- data dump and giving them a sip of the fire hose with the 101 reasons why they should work with you. That's selling. When you're selling, you're repelling. Stop selling and start attracting by owning the fact that you're picking and choosing who you give your gift to. And if they don't qualify, you simply move on to their competitor who does. So you're cool either way. You're cool as a cucumber. You're not attached to the outcome. So again, that comes back to the mindset. That comes back to the identity. And it infuses into your posture so that you're not leaning towards the girl who's leaning away from you as you try and kiss her. That doesn't work. You want to have a posture such that you only kiss the girls that lean in to kiss you, so to speak. You don't want to be leaning in while she's leaning away. That doesn't work. That has you be needy. That's the wrong frequency. That's the wrong posture. Instead, you want to have a posture that you're cool either way. If they don't qualify, if they don't get it, 
next. It's like S W S W S W. Some will, some won't. Some some will, some won't. So what? Next, someone's waiting, right? So you are in this detached, relaxed confidence. And then again, we provide our clients, those that qualify to work with us, and obviously not everyone's the right fit for us. We only make offers to those who are 100%. We're 100% confident and certain we can help. But for those that we work with, that we bring our gift to, we arm them with the words that work that get some hot for what you got. It's a proprietary method, so I can't share it with you here. But just know it's simple, it's elegant, and it allows you to get your foot in the door super easy, such that you're booking appointments like a hot knife through butter all day, every day. You can basically book appointments at will once you start to put in the reps and build that mastery muscle. Does it happen overnight? No. But as you build that mastery muscle from putting in the reps, your confidence goes through the roof. Your mojo goes through the roof because you have the ability literally to book appointments with top producing realtors at will. Is this something you can delegate to a virtual assistant? Not so much. It's not an easy thing to delegate to someone for 15 bucks an hour. You need to claim this power for yourself because think about it. One top producing realtor is easily, if they're sending you one, two, three deals a month, and most of these top producers have the referral capacity to do so if they're doing 20, 30, 40, 50 plus transactions a year. They have the ability, the referral power to give you 30, 50, 70, even $80,000 plus a year in business, sometimes even over $100,000 a year in business, just one partner. How many of those partners do you need to hit your income goals? Not very many, right? Chances are only seven to 12, not 40, not 50, not 70, seven to 12. So you don't have to be chasing a herd of realtors, you know, the bottom feeding, whining, sibling, complaining, jelly donut, eating mediocre bottom feeding realtors that are doing three, four, five transactions a year. Hell no. Those guys, they might give you one or two deals a year. We're talking about the top producers that, that have the power to give you one, two, three deals a month, not a year. That's true income producing power. That's going for, that's getting yourself under the spot where all the good stuff pours out. And that's getting maximum juice with the least amount of squeeze. So instead of having to deal with 40 different realtors and having to pander to their whims and wishes and be the bitch to a bunch of low producers, you're working it up with the top producers. You're soaring with eagles. You have mutual respect, mutual honor. They love and adore you. You love and adore them. They understand the power of delegation and having superstars only on their team. So they're not micromanaging you. They're not breathing down your neck, micromanaging every move. They entrust you to act as an extension of their business. And they let you dance in your strengths so that they can be liberated, liberated to dance in their strengths. It's a mutual liberation cycle that allows them to delegate their weaknesses, which is delegating the loan process, so they can dance in their strengths and vice versa. So it's a hand in glove synergy alliance that allows everyone to win. Top producers are more prone to have that mindset than lower producers because the lower producers are living in scarcity mode and they're afraid perpetually that if that deal in derails, then they're not more. If that deal derails, then they're having to live off savings instead of being able to pay cash. Or if that deal derails, there goes their vacation money, right? So they're perpetually prone to be fearful about losing the deal such that they're more prone to micromanage you. So there's so many different reasons to go after the top producers. I think I've given you just a few to consider there, but if I had time, I could give you another 10, 20, 30 reasons why top producers are where it's at. So you need a system to attract versus chase. You need a system to remove the cold calling out of the equation. Now, I know that chances are, if you've been in the business for any period of time, you've been told by so-called mortgage coaches or marketing coaches that you're supposed to cold call 40 freaking realtors every Monday. That's doing it the hard way. That's caveman methods from the dark ages. This is the 21st century, friends. There's technology. There's automation. There's no need to use the gardening trowel to dig out the foundation for your skyscraper when there's something called an excavator, right? The gardening trowel is doing it the freaking hard way. There's no brownie points in the bank for doing it the hard way, and you know it. 
And I'm all about working smarter, not harder. Chances are, if you're watching this and listening to this, you're right there with me. You read my mail on that. So the next start in the, uh, step in the process when it comes to where do you start with your marketing is we need to be able to identify these realtors' pain points, challenges, what keeps them up at night, where their marketing engine's losing steam, where they're leaving money on the table to their competitors. And we want to use a diagnostic process. Instead of showing up, giving them a data dump, talking about how great you are, blah, 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 talking about yourself because they don't give a rat's ass about you. What they care about is their challenges, their pain points, their ambitions, their struggles. And the more you can connect with that, get clarity on that, the more you can get them sold on the problem, the more they're going to be prone to be sold on the solution. But until and unless you get them sold on the problem, they will not buy your solution. So we're all about diagnose first, prescribe second, just like a good doctor. Anything less than that is malpractice, is it not? Diagnose first, prescribe second. So that's another piece of the secret sauce we teach our mortgage professional clients on how to become badasses at is becoming badass diagnosticians and prescription providers and fulfillers such that you're able to cure what ails these top producing realtors such that you become irreplaceable and indispensable and they send you all their business all the time. They make you their exclusive. They put you on their speed dial and we flip the script yet again where they need you more than you need them. And if they don't reciprocate, you simply fire them and replace them. Simple as that. That makes sense, guys? So that's how we shift you into the power position. And the more value you bring to these top producing realtors, the more you solidify the relationship. And the more you deepen that relationship, the more you deepen your revenue that's flowing into your bank account. It's as simple as that. It's all about quality relationships with top producing realtors. The more quality relationships, the higher the quantity of your revenue. It's literally that simple. Is it easy? No, but it is that simple. If it was easy, anyone and everyone would do it. If it was easy, everyone would be fit, rich, and happy. Most people are fat, broken, unhappy. Why? Because it ain't easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. But once you know the formula, the recipe, the blueprint, it becomes a whole lot easier. As long as you show up coachable, committed, resourceful, decisive, and you show up like your life depends on it, because truth be told, your best life, your abundant life, your freedom life does, the sky's the limit with where you can take it. Case in point, one of our clients, Tyshawn Young, she just graduated from our program. She was on the struggle bus, being up at night, every night, sleepless nights, sleeping three hours a night, freaking out because she went from like 15, 16 deals a month. And then the market shifted and she went down to like three, four, five deals a month. So she's freaking out because when your lifestyle you know, is accustomed to 15, 16 deals a month, and then you go down to five, you feel that. That hurts, right? All of a sudden, you're living in a relative, I can't afford it prison. And all of a sudden now, she's on the struggle bus and she's free freaking out. And on top of that, she's also a branch manager. So now she's feeling like an imposter as a leader because she's not leading by example. And her income is one third of what it used to be. And she has nothing fresh to bring to the table for her loan officers. And she's worried about her get, having her loan officers getting chewed up and spat out, her loan officers getting poached by competitors, her loan officers dying on the vine. So there's a lot of, you know, a downward cycle of suck that she was suffering with. And she tried the cold calling every 40 real for, at 40 realtors every Monday. That wasn't working. The realtors were not giving her the time of day. She tried getting the leads off Facebook and buying Zillow leads. That was just definitely doing it the hard way, having to sift through a mountain of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets. So she tried all these different things. They weren't working. And she was just at the point where she was at her wit's end. She was sick and tired of being sick and tired of being on the struggle bus. Perhaps you can relate. You know, the up and down roller coaster ride from hell. Perhaps you can relate. So she reached out to us to see what we can do. We shone the light of truth on her situation and we got her connected to what's at stake if she continues to stay on the struggle bus such that she said, screw it, let's do it. And she landed herself on Planet Prosper with our proven system. And within just three months, she more than doubled her income. Her pipeline is pointing towards tripling now, just four months later. But she more than doubled her income in just three months, just by landing 
12, I think it was 11 or 12 top producing VIP realtor partners. And she loaded a list of only 22 realtors into the realtor attraction campaign. 22 realtors converted into 12 partners. And those partners, by the way, many of which sent her referrals before she even started to work together, just by the power of the diagnostic process she brought to the table, the certainty, the swagger factor we helped her step into, the confidence that she stepped into owning her champion self, all of a sudden these realtors are like, even if I don't qualify to work with you, because again, it's the posture of like, they don't even know if they qualify, if they're going to make the cut. They're like, even if I don't qualify to work with you, can I send you business? Can I work with you? Can I have my borrowers work with you? How cool is that, right? So that's the power of having an attraction-based method versus a chasing-based method. And to be able to shift the dynamics so you're in the power position. So you're asking, where do I start with my marketing? Whether you're a veteran or a newbie, that's what you want to do. Now, if you're a veteran and you have a big database, you also want to be thinking about mining the gold from your database, staying in front of these people. Are you getting five-star reviews from your happy clients after every, every closing? Are you getting those reviews on Google? If you're not, you're leaving a shit ton of money on the table. I can tell you that right now. And chances are it's money that you can't afford to be living on the table, especially in this challenging market. So we want to put a system in place to get those reviews after every closing from your happy clients, get them on Google. So you're showing up on and shining online with a five-star reputation. And then you want a system in place to be able to take those rave reviews and turn them into red hot referrals. Because think about it, who better to send you referral than somebody who just gave you a five-star review? That's the best source of referrals you could ever get, your happy clients, true or not true, right? So you need a system for that. And you need a system to do it in an elegant way that's pleasing that's connected relationally, that does not have you coming across as a sleaze bag or a salesperson trying to leech referrals from them. It needs to be connected relationally, elegant, and trust-inducing versus trust-corroding. So you need to have a review attraction system, a reputation management system. You need a client reviews to client referrals system that turns your rave reviews into red hot referrals. You need a system to be able to stay in front of your database of suspects, prospects, clients, and partners. So you're able to build that top of mind awareness so that you're adding value consistently. You're in their face consistently. You're continually and perpetually positioning yourself as the expert. You're adding value. You're educating. You're staying in touch so that when they think mortgage, boom, you're the only logical choice. No one else even is remotely close. You have positioned yourself in their mind and heart as the preeminent mortgage professional, mortgage expert in their mind and heart. Once you get their mind share, their heart share, it's just a matter of time until you get their repeat business and referral share. And it's all about building that top of mind awareness. So you need systems for that. That's another key part of the equation. A big reason why veterans in particular hire us is to have the secret sauce with plug and play systems and campaigns that allow the loan officer, the mortgage broker, the mortgage professional to be able to focus on rainmaking instead of paper pushing and dealing with the quagmire of technology. So they can just focus on what they do best, meeting with clients and cash and checks and get the best to do all the rest. That's how champions roll. So it's all about operation delegation with automation. It's all about using technology to set it and forget it. So it just drips on your people while you sleep by email, by direct mail, by text, by phone, we, by social media. We want to put an iron cage around your clientele so that they don't get poached by your competitors. And so you are top of mind and the preeminent mortgage professional they go to for all our mortgage needs to refer their friends and family. So... That's what we want to be doing. There's only two shortest paths of the cash when it comes to growing your business. If you're a veteran, it's mining the gold from your database, maximizing repeat and referral business. Because you, at a black belt level, your database marketing at the level we get our clients to operate, you should be getting at least one to three deals a month for every 100 past clients. So if you have 100 past clients, that's one to three deals a month in the form of repeat and referral business. But Doran, I only get half a deal a month. How could that be the case? Because you're doing it the hard way because you don't know what we know. You're paying a hefty tuition to the university of not knowing, not knowing how to set it and forget it, not knowing how to set up the technology, not knowing the campaigns to send, 
not knowing the right message to send at the right time to the right people, not knowing how to build that top of mind awareness. And because you don't know, you're leaving all that money on the table to your competitors unnecessarily. That's called doing it the hard way. We want to start to take that money off the table and start putting it in your pocket where it belongs. I call that working smarter, not just working harder. Agreed? So there's only two shortest path to the cash ways to grow your business in this business. Number one is mining the gold from your database, maximizing repeat and referral business, if indeed you have a database. Number two is attracting top producing realtors to make you their exclusive without the hell of cold calling. Those are the only two areas you want to become a black belt at when it comes to your marketing. Database, marketing, and realtor attraction. Once you learn how to become even a blue belt, let alone a black black belt in those areas, you're going to be able to literally write your own ticket in this business. I don't care if you want to make half a million a year or a million a year and beyond. Those are the two areas that when you become a black belt at, you can write your own ticket in any market, regardless of rate, inventory, or competition. Regardless of what the market is doing, we're going to have you thrive on, thriving while everyone else is struggling to be surviving. And that's really our goal for you, to build a rock-solid, recession-proof business that allows you to thrive in any market. So I know that was a bit of a long-winded answer to that one question, but I really wanted to unpack it because there's a lot of different dimensions to really having a solid answer to that question. So now that I've beat that dead horse, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Question two is, I'm a multi-state law officer. If I get a real estate agent on the phone, what should I tell them? Great question. So not if, but when. Because if you're a multi-state loan officer, you want to build a targeted list of top producers for every specific location that you want to get business in. And every city, every metropolis, chances are, has six to 12 different sub-counties uh, that are surrounding that area. So you can build a list of top producers for each respective county. Because a lot of these realtors, they have a farm area where they concentrate the majority of their transactions. So in one city, you can have a list uh, of top producing realtors in one municipality, another one from another municipality or county, and so on and so forth. And once you have that list, all you do is load that list into our realtor attraction campaign that gets these realtors hot for what you got, pre-sold on having a conversation with you before you even talk to them. And then you just pick up the phone and call them and book appointments like a hot knife through butter. And your appointments are all through Zoom. And now that we've had a pandemic, thank God for the pandemic, everyone's trained to do Zoom trainings. Everyone's trained to do Zoom meetings. So it's not like it's some foreign concept. Everyone understands Zoom. Everyone understands the benefit of not having to battle through traffic. And you might be thinking, but Dorn, I'm not local. Isn't that going to be uh, a uh, debit against my account? Isn't that going to be a demerit on my account? No. If you believe so, if you believe it's a demerit, then it is. If you believe it's not a big deal at all, because at the end of the day, all the realtor cares about is how many zeros and commas that I'm going to bring to the table that they wouldn't have generated otherwise in terms of more closings and commissions in their bank account and helping them work smarter, not harder, helping them get more you know, five-star reviews on their Google My Business account, helping them turn more of those reviews into referrals, helping them capture more leads at their open houses, helping them turn more of those leads into closings, helping them convert more of their dead leads into hot for what you got leads, helping them mine the gold from their database, maximize repeat and referral business, helping them structure their day for maximum productivity. Like if you can help a realtor do any of those meaningful, beneficial, impactful aspects of their business at a higher level, do they really give a rat's ass if you're a five-hour drive away or a 10-hour drive away? I submit to you not. It's all about your certainty, your value, and the ability for you to fulfill on delivering that kind of value. And obviously, the energy, the frequency you're transmitting in your communication with them. If you're bringing doubt, you're out. If you're bringing certainty, you're going to attract them to you because they don't need your doubt. They already have enough of their own. They need the light of your certainty, the light of your, compare, your caring, the light of your compassion, the light of your confidence, the light of your commitment to excellence for excellence sake. When you shine your light and shine it bright, it doesn't really matter your proximity. What matters is your frequency, the frequency of the energy you're transmitting. You guys with me on that? I kid you not, guys. When you 
take ownership of this and you start to build this muscle of getting yourself built up in mastery levels of frequency of faith versus fear, frequencies of certainty versus doubt, and you have the ability to flip the script so the realtor needs you more than you need them, it changes everything. It changes everything. It's like you were trapped in a dark, damp cave, and all of a sudden, someone flipped on the lights and turned on the heat. It's a whole new world. So that's what I recommend for a multi-state loan officer uh, when it comes to you know being able to penetrate the purchase market in any market scientifically, strategically, and intelligently. The third question we had come in is, what are the red flags when meeting with potential VIP partners to keep an eye out for and button down during discovery meetings? So it's a great question. Uh, this is actually a uh, alumni of ours who's actually one of our consultants as well. He did really well with us. He tripled his income in like, you know, three months. And now he's an advocate for us. He's our brand ambassador. And uh, he's one of our consultants because he's so, you know, heart connected to purpose to share the love and uh, take his tale of transformation to uh, not just be the hero himself, but to make heroes and to liberate others who struggle with the same shackles of suck that he struggled with and I can't afford a prison and to help other people break free from those shackles so they can live the abundant life that he's now living. So kind of cool to see that the, uh, you know, chain of uh, transformation continued down the path where, you know, someone who was able to get liberated from the dark pit of the struggle bus now is that beacon of light for others. It's a beautiful thing. And so he's using some jargon that I want to unpack. Discovery meetings, that's the diagnosis meeting. That's what we talked about earlier in terms of diagnose first, prescribe second. That's the first meeting with a realtor that we teach you how to do at a very high level, uncovering their pain points and their challenges because they will not buy the solution until and unless they bought the problem. So the red flags, the red flags are really uh, multifold and uh, there isn't necessarily just one set of red flags. There's many, many, many red flags, but the, all the red flags really are going to fly in the face of either your ideal client profile uh, and or the kind of client you want to help. So you need to have crystal clarity on the kind of partner you want to work with, the kind of partner you want to bring your gift to. And as a general rule, the kind of partner that you don't want to work with is very different than the kind of client you do. The kind of client you want to work with is humble, is coachable, is committed. The kind of partner you don't want to work with is prideful, is really not committed to anything different than what they're already doing. And you know they, they think their poop don't stink and they're kind of cool with the way it is. So notice the contrast, right? The kind of partner you want to work with is always wanting to grow, expand, take things to the next level. The opposite of that is someone who's Okay, in complacency, neglect, uh, compromise, drifting versus driving, stagnation, regression. They're kind of okay with it. It's like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm still making better money than most. I'm doing pretty good. And they're okay kind of settling and sit, sitting on their laurels and living in, I can't afford, living in uh, good prison. And good is always the mortal enemy of great. If you're comfortable with good, you're never going to have the rocket fire fuel in your rocket to step up to great. And so your ideal clients, I can't tell you who your ideal partners are. I keep call it, calling them clients because truth be told, your partners are your clients. If you'll treat your partners as your clients, you'll find that you'll have a massive shift in your ability to grow your business. Because when you treat your partners as your clients, you're continually bringing value. You're always thinking about ways to add value. And the more value you bring to them, the more value they're going to bring to you in referrals. You might think, well, Doran, that's not my experience. Well, that's because you've been doing it, doing it the hard way. But when you do it the way we do it, which is to bring your gift only to a select few who qualify, if they don't reciprocate, you fire their ass and replace them. So there's FOMO at play, fear of missing out. They don't want to miss out on the gift you bring such that they hustle their ass to reciprocate. They hustle their ass to make sure that they are irreplaceable and indispensable to you, not just the other way around. But the red flags would be things like, 
you know, I'm cool doing it the way I'm doing it, getting it the way I'm getting it. I'm not really looking to grow. I'm just wanting to maintain. Everything's cool. I'm happy the way it is. Uh, I'm everything I have is working perfectly. Like that kind of person, there's not much you can do to help them because they're already cool as a cucumber. They don't really see any chinks in their in their armor. Uh, they're, they don't really care about the fact they're leaving money on the table here, there, and, and everywhere. Like they're kind of just cool. They're laxadaisical lax- 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 and they're apathetic. That's really a huge red flag. Um, those are the kind of partners that I would dissuade you from working with and take away. And the takeaway would be something simple as like, Hey, if that's the case, that's cool. There's no right or wrong answers here, but if that's the case. Frankly, I'd, I don't know if we're going to be the right fit because the partners I work with, they're always wanting to grow because if they're not growing, they're dying. They understand if they're not growing, they're dying and stagnation tends to breed rot and they don't want to be one of them. But if you're cool doing it the way you're doing it and getting it the way you're getting it, we may not be the right fit because the kind of partners I work with, they're always wanting to grow. Notice the takeaway, right? And if they're like, yeah, you're probably right, then it's like, hey, let's just part friends. That being said, and then you can ask for the referral. Who do you know who's growth-minded, ambitious, who wants to take their real estate business to the next level, who might be open to taking on more buyers and sellers right now? Who comes to mind? And then you can just bypass them and go straight for the referral. And then some of them might be like, oh, shit. This guy, this gal is for real. This guy or gal is legit. They're doing a takeaway on me. I don't want to miss out. And they might come to their senses and get out of the going full-blown stupid mode that that they were getting sucked into and come to their senses and get real with you at that point. But notice the takeaway. I'm not kissing ass. I'm not chasing. They're going to chase my ass. That's how it's going to go, right? It's a whole different shift in energy. So... That's what I would recommend, and that's what I would highlight when it comes to red flags and how you address them. So great questions, guys. Thank you for your interaction. By the way, if you submitted a question, um, if you haven't joined our Art of Mortgage Marketing uh, Facebook group, I highly recommend you do so because in the Facebook group, we have like 15,000 plus rock star mortgage professionals in there. Amazing synergy, amazing community. Lots of uh, opportunities to ask questions in the group, get them answered. You know, we're very supportive of each other, helping each other. There's a lot of benevolence and generosity and sharing ideas and being that rising tide that raises all the boats. So if you haven't joined the party yet, I invite you to join the party at the Art of Mortgage Marketing uh, Facebook group. You can search it on Facebook. And uh, if you have not yet given us a five-star review on iTunes for this podcast, please do subscribe to the podcast. If you dig it and you think we're worthy of a five-star review, that would help us tremendously rise to the top in our category in mortgage marketing. So thank you in advance for your rave reviews. We absolutely love your feedback, welcome your feedback and appreciate your feedback. So thank you in advance. So guys, thank you for being with us. Again, join the Art of Mortgage Marketing Uh, Facebook group so you can interact with us and pose questions and be notified when we do these podcast episodes live on Facebook. We will often submit it in advance, several days in advance, so you can pose your questions in advance. And we'll personally do our best to listen and, and listen to and read all of your questions and to answer your questions live on these podcasts. So if you dug what we were giving you today and you're wanting more of it, You definitely want to come join the party at the Art of Mortgage Marketing Facebook group, as well as subscribing to this podcast episode, or rather uh, this podcast series on iTunes or any other uh, platform that houses your podcasts like Spotify. All right, guys, be blessed. This is Dorn Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Be blessed. Let's get after it, guys. Shine your light and shine it bright. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all. Oh, by the way, before we go, I got a little bit uh, too over eager to exit early and I almost forgot perhaps the most important piece of this podcast, which is a call to action. If you've been listening to this, if you've been watching this, you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're putting down. This is exactly what I needed. I feel an elevation in my certainty, an elevation in my confidence. I feel like you've shone some light on my situation that has really helped me 
chart my course in terms of what I need to do. But Dorn, I need more of the micro details on how I can actually execute this. I feel like I've got a general path and I've got a true north shining star to move towards, but I still need the micro steps. How do I execute this, Doran? How do I roll this out when it comes to a step-by-step proven path for prosperity? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you're listening to this, watching this, and you're a 100% commission loan officer, you make 80 basis points or higher, you're a full-time mortgage professional, and you're wanting to at least increase your income, by $100,000 or more, even in the face of this crazy market, maybe even doubling, tripling, quadrupling your income while working the same or less hours, and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of being on the struggle bus, you're sick and tired of being the up and down roller coaster ride from hell, sick and tired of chasing realtors instead of having these realtors chase you, sick and tired of leaving money on the table to your competitors and your database and feeling shitty about it, like I should be doing more, I should be further ahead, I should be doing more database marketing and then feeling shitty because you don't really know how to do it and you keep procrastinating on it, welcome to the club. That's exactly why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us here on Planet Prosperous to fix those problems. So if that's you, I invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And on that call, you're either going to get on the phone with me or one of my consultants. We're going to lift up the hood on your business. We're going to look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you want to go. And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, I'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, I'll be the very first person to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, you will leave that call with massive value, massive clarity. Chances are we're going to have some fun. Fair enough. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, again, it's not a sales call. It's a clarity call. We only make offers to people that we're 100% certain we can help. 20% of the people we talk to don't qualify for an offer because they're just not the right fit. This is not a sales call. This is a clarity call. If we have to sell you on making freedom money, frankly, you're not ready to make freedom money. So just saying, this is not a sales call. It's a clarity call to see if we can help you, to shine the light of truth on your situation, to see if we can help you. Is that fair? So if that sounds worthwhile to you, go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. All right, guys, this is really now the pivot to giving you a big hug and say, be blessed, y'all. We bring our light, we shine it bright to serve you. Now you do likewise. Step into your champion self, get connected to purpose to serve another, to make a difference from another, for another. Show up with certainty, confidence, and caring knowing that you're an instrument of the divine to be light, love, and leadership for another in this dark world, to be a difference maker and to shine your light and just shine it bright and to be the difference maker that chances are someone right now is praying for. All right, guys, be blessed. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.